Craig, good morning, everyone. Joining us this morning, we have Ashley Learn. You guys know Ashley from the Food Bank. <laughs> and uh, you may not know Evelyn Stahowski. Did I say that right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, Evelyn is one of the greatest volunteers that you guys have she over is. at the Food Bank. And um, it's perfect that we have you guys here today because we are talking about volunteers. Uh, Evelyn, we're going to get to you in just one second. <laughs> but first, I want to start, Ashley. You've given us the stats of how many volunteers you guys had last year. Mm -hmm. They're really the people that make the food bank go, right? And and just go over some of those stats because they're really incredible. Yeah, so this week is National Volunteer Week and it's just giving the food bank a chance to say thank you to all of our volunteers because like you said, they are the reason that we're able to do what we do at the food bank. Right. In 2015, our volunteers provided over 42,000 hours of help, wow. which is the equivalent of about 23 full-time staff. That's amazing. Yeah, so the power of volunteers is incredible. Without them, the food bank really could not operate as efficiently as we do. Now, uh, I want to turn to you, Evelyn, because um, you are one of those volunteers that helps make the big machine work over <laughs> at the, the food bank. Why did you get started, and why do you love to volunteer so much? Well, I started when I used to take care of all my grandchildren, and they all got to, to where they were in school, and I was with nothing to do and I read a thing in the paper that it said they needed volunteers and so I started at two two afternoons a week and then it just blossomed into now where I get there about seven and I'm there till three in the afternoon every day of the week and you I mean you wouldn't stay that long for eight hours of your day if you didn't love it right <laughs> right and there's you know we never do the same thing two days in a row. Right. Usually everything changes and it can change in a minute. It depends on how many volunteers come in. Sometimes if we don't have enough volunteers, we can't do a project that we had planned to do, so right. we change to something else. The other thing is we have a lot of volunteers that come in that are challenged and we try to make things that they can do. And we learn to know them and that way we can have things that anybody can do. Right, I mean, these things, uh, Craig and I went and volunteered one day and we were able to do it, so that means pretty much anyone can do it, right? No, but seriously, they I mean, you guys simplify uh, things so to the point where anyone, like you said, can volunteer. Right. Um, simple tasks. Well, we have eight, we have eight, from eight-year-olds and our oldest volunteer is 96. Mm -hmm. Wow. And she comes every month. I think we met her, yeah, and she has Hazel. tons of energy, yeah. <laughs> yes. Hazel's the best, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. Now, really quickly, um, if people do want to get interested, Ashley, in uh, volunteering, uh, we put some information up in some of the graphics, but where can people go? Because you do have to sign up in advance, right? Yes, you do. Um, you can go to our website. It's www.foodbankst.org, and there's a volunteer button right on the side, and you go in there, you sign up on that. It's really simple. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you guys so much for coming today. Thanks for having us. Because we know how important volunteering is, so uh, really, everyone get out and volunteer do your part if you can because you can never have too many volunteers exactly <laughs> all right well thanks again for coming